kikubor ka batisi tv lawan ra shapi dak orange nisan lum so pho ni fabric at shillong ringkat bat ka m crown hotel khandai lat shillong ka three olives restaurant bla pli nak ban taban shakriya phi habo ka jingada jong ka bio bubble antivirus coating ringkat ka cosmic kingdom ka jakai le kai bapa ha shillong bla ya da nak ka bio bubble antivirus coating bla le da ka meva enterprise U nongelam jong ka liang persa u doktor Mukul Sangma ula ong ba ka mangtengka jong ka yeng dor bar tha an jong ka ri kala menjur ha ka sitrik u banai rempang arjar arpuwei kam simla don ai ai setia ban ai bha kerpang ye ki jilla ki badan ha ka than setailam mi ngi jong ka ri india ha ba ya keren bat kilat pathai khubor u doktor Mukul Sangma ula ong ba ka ne ka jingle siliang khman ya ka than setailam mi ngi kan pendeko hado katta katta ye ki kam penroi ha ka ne ka than Bada kejo ke por ula kenturu ya ke sorkar pedeng baka dai ban don laka jong ke baha ke bekerpang na ke benta ban le ye ki kam penroi haki jela jong ke ni ke thain na lor ba haka ni ke mang tengka kam sim la don setia ke no ke no ke jing ke dau ban mang pisa kerpang leng baka north eastern council lemne na ke tenat development of north east region which in addition to what is already part of our uh, observation as a Indian National Congress because it's a budget for the nation as a whole. But one important thing uh, is uh, what is specific to the reason and the focus which was uh, required to be not specific uh, is missing. Now, uh, what are those uh, challenges which are uh, something considered as inherent to the Northeast? and why north east should be taken uh, differently and therefore even in the uh, in respect of the investment pertaining to this reason should be considered uh, from what is relevant and what is uh, considered as something which can enable the reason to keep pace with the rest of the country in respect of uh, the developmental indices whether it is in social sector or in uh, in the front of uh, educational sector even the infra sector infrastructural sector now obviously number of programs which have been uh, embarked upon by the preceding government and subsequently carried forward by the uh, earlier uh, nda government uh, there are a need for new initiatives and besides new initiatives uh, to aggressively pursue those agendas which are which were in the pipeline which were an offshoot of a long drawn due diligence understanding the uh, strength and potentialities of the reason and the challenges of the reason uh, but somehow or other they are not seen to be uh, something which is found to specific to this reason or in other words the investment specific to northeastern reason except few which are continuation of uh, the programs and another part is interestingly if you are looking at uh, the ambitious spending proposal without looking at the resources so the government will end up borrowing and increase the debt burden look at the uh, fiscal deficit besides with the gdp it's close to 10% that's quite alarming Uh, so what is going to happen is that the resources which will be mopped up will be uh, out of the proposed disinvestment that means selling of government assets mm -hmm. so to sell the government assets the monetization of the assets are part of the exercise and this uh, whole exercise uh, of disinvesting uh, the assets belonging to government undertakings will have to be keenly watched which are those vulnerable sector which if uh, transferred from government to private sector what is the ramification in the long run those are few issues which have to be keenly watched by the people of the country by all of us plus no specific uh, indication to further carry for the look east policy which they renomenclatured as act this policy So act is also missing, policy is also missing. Like That's why they are specific to northeast. Now, how the dilution of the whole uh, responsibilities and powers mandated to these institutions crucial for 
uh, overall development of the Northeast, uh, how it has been slowly uh, reduced to uh, redundancy. Mm -hmm. I was happy when the Honorable Prime Minister himself uh, decided to come and uh, uh, address the NEC uh, after a long, long gap. I think the uh, hype was created, the expectations were generated, but then uh, that did not actually uh, somehow so any fusion. I was happy when the Honorable Prime Minister himself uh, decided to come and uh, uh, address the NEC uh, after a long, long gap. I think the uh, hype was created, the expectations were generated, but then uh, that did not actually uh, somehow so any fusion. There is hardly any initiative after that. So, um, it's set for people who are associated with the uh, whole process of development that has taken place in the preceding decades in as far as North East is concerned.